Prototypers, we're going to do something really fun, which is to build a simple button piano with the Circuit Playground Express. So let's try to play our first song. I'm going to move the microphone down to the CPX so you can hear it. We call that song uh, Hot Cross Buns, where I'm from, which is a lovely song. Okay, so let's see how to build this. Um, here's the code that we're going to build. So let's start over. We're going to do new project. And thus far, we've started our code with a forever loop, but this time we don't need that forever loop. Instead, what we want to have happen is the, for the code to execute when we hit a button. So we're going to actually delete this block. And for this, we are going to have an input block. So this button A. There's two buttons here, a button A, see that little triangle, and a button B, another triangle. So when the user hits the button A, we want a sound to occur. So it's on button A click, and then let's have a sound. We have lots of different sounds. So for example, we could do budding when the button A is clicked. Let's try that out. Okay, or we could switch it to another thing, magic wand. But we want a note to be played, a simple note. So we're going to delete that. We're going to put a, um, a play tone. So what's cool about this is it's just like a keyboard. So you could play. And the, the song I just played was hot cross buns. So we're going to hook up the A button to C. Okay, and I'll have it play for a half beat. Um, and then we could also copy this block. So we could just hit duplicate. And then we want to have button B play a different note. In this case, we'll do D. So now we have button A hooked up to middle C and button B hooked up to middle D. And let's give it a shot. Now, as you might have noticed in my demo, I actually had the CPX also light up when uh, a button was struck. So let's do that too. I think that's kind of nice to the user is when they hit a button, they get instant feedback about what is pressed. So for button A, let's say that the, uh, the lights turn red and for button B, we'll say that they turn blue. And now let's simulate this again. Looks great, but we need to do one other thing, which is we need to clear the buttons or, or clear the state of the, of the lights after the, the tone is played. So for that, we could just set all the pixels to black. So let me show you the difference here. So now when I hit the A button, the state is cleared. Now if I hit it B, I haven't done that for B, so um, the blue lights will just continue to persist. So I wanna actually do the same thing. So I'm gonna copy and paste that down here. So now, pretty good. Another thing when we're working with sound is to um, make sure that we initialize the sound volume. How loud do we want the sound to be? So you can control that. And for this, we're going to have an on start uh, block. So for that, we go over to loops and on start. And this is executed once and only once to sort of initialize variables or, or other state in your program. In this case, we want to set the volume I'm gonna maximize it because I'm making this video. I wanna make sure that everything is loud enough. So I'm gonna actually set this all the way up. So I clicked on that number and it goes all the way up to 255, which is the maximum. You can go from zero to 255 where zero would be off. So um, now I could try it again. So it should sound louder if I go down here. And then eventually if I just go down to zero, it won't make any noise. But it does still show the lights. So I'll bring that back up to 255. And we could try this. We can actually download it to our board and try out our simple program. So why don't we do that? And then we'll add in that third note. Okay, so I just downloaded it. And let's give it a shot. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna add in that third note. Now there's not a third button, so how do we do this? Great question. Well, um, if you press both buttons at the same time, 
you can actually get uh, a different state. So let's duplicate this block. And rather than button A, we're gonna say button A plus B. Let's see if there's room. Maybe I can move stuff around a little bit and put it right here. I guess I'm kind of in front of it. Maybe I go over here for now. So, um, so let's change this maybe to green and we need to change the note to E. So we have A, B is E, B is D, and A is middle C. So now let's give it a shot. And actually when I added in buttons A plus B, you'll notice it added in, the simulator added in this nice A plus B button. So I can actually play that key. So let's try that out. Perfect. And the final thing we want to do is try it out actually on the CPX. So let's do that as well. Okay, here we are on the CPX. Oh, actually, I got it downloaded first. So let's let's download. I'll let you see what it looks like when it's actually downloading directly. So I'm going to hit the download button. And the state turns green. Now it's actually downloaded and we could try it out. Okay, let's try again. Awesome, so we've done it. We've made our first musical instrument with the CPX.